Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video of my Formula 1 Codemasters Career Challenge in Formula 1 2009 on the Nintendo Wii. Um, just a big shout out to all the new people watching the channel, especially for this Formula 1 series. I have noticed you. Um, so yeah, cheers, welcome along and I hope you enjoy the videos. We've been a bit of a Pasta Maldonado lately, so hopefully for the Chinese Grand Prix we can try and improve that. Let's just read through our uh, race review from the last race, which was pretty poor. No score for Peachy at Kuala Lumpur, a lacklustre performance from Daniel Peachy saw the Toro Rosso driver fail to score a single championship point in the 2009 Formula 1 Patronus Malaysian Grand Prix. Neither Peachy or a representative of Toro Rosso management were available for comment after the race. Yeah, it was a pretty sad one. We've had a pretty sad two races, but uh, our teammates been doing a lot worse than us, so... Yeah, I don't think all the bad press can be going our way. It would be cool if we could see the press on all the players, on all the drivers. But let's look at our uh, race preview for China. Toro Rosso hoped for a change in fortune. An understandably dejected Daniel Peachy lamented the misfortune of Toro Rosso in recent races. Toro Rosso team bosses conceded that it was not all down to luck and a dip in form from their driver may be partly to blame. Both parties will be looking for a significant improvement starting with the next race in China. I am looking for a significant improvement. I don't actually have a problem with the car. I feel like it's been driving pretty good. And these little uh, pre-press things in this game can be just a little bit, you know, <clears throat> blanket. So in F1 2010, I do know they fixed that up with commentary and stuff and interviews. But here we go. Practice uh, for the 2009 Chinese Grand Prix. I'm actually just going to take you around a lap, like a whole lap of practice. And then um, for the qualifying and race, we'll sort of just like cut it up and, and do it that way. I'll sort of uh, mix up the, the videos a little bit. But let's come around for the start line of the Chinese Grand Prix in the Toro Rosso uh, on our first lap of it actually in the game so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it fairly chill but it's been a pretty good race for me in, in previous F1 games obviously before I started the channel um, it's always been a race I've been pretty good at at this track but <laughs> this Wii version it's another beast altogether so let's just see how we go um, one little detail, I don't know if I've mentioned, I do like the clouds in F1 2009, I think it's pretty good. The handling model, I don't think I can ever get used to it, honestly I have contemplated in the last couple of days. Just like, oh man, should I just start skipping to 2010? Because, I don't know, it's a little bit of a... It, yeah, I just don't really enjoy this game. I do enjoy a lot of the early Codemasters F1 games. Uh, some of them vary in degree majority of them are pretty good and I do want to include it all on my channel because I do have a, a love for F1 games but yeah has contemplated skipping it but you guys seem to be enjoying it um, so yeah welcome to all the new subscribers and uh, all the new viewers as well I know what it's like just to like flip through videos and skip to the next one um, so yeah come around the hairpin there we sort of didn't get that right and uh, we come around to finish our first lap of the Chinese Grand Prix which I do think has a quite impressive grandstand area there we quite like it but we set a 139.060 Barrichello set a 143.023 so quite ahead of him and we actually finished the Chinese Grand Prix with 138.577 in P1 which was super unexpected and it would be in real life in a Toro Rosso so I must be improving at the game <laughs> even though I still feel like I'm doing rubbish uh, but yeah let's get into some qualifying in China now we're going off that practice session I do have some high hopes to see how we go um, being Q1 I don't want to push too hard I don't really know if the tyres carry on and all that sort of stuff, but uh, we're going to sort of take it easy through this lap here, and that's pretty much what we do. We do go a bit wide through T1, T2, 
T2 area there. I didn't really seem to get it together a lot in this lap. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. It wasn't the best lap I've done. It wasn't as good as my practice lap that I just showed before. Um, but it was, it was alright. So we're pushing. We're coming around to the big loop. I honestly don't know the name of the corner. I do on some tracks know the name of the corners, but I don't on all of them. So apologies for that. I will make the effort to learn them in the future, though. I do think they're a cool part of the commentary and a lot of the other like uh, racing YouTubers that I watch are quite enjoyable, so I just thought I'd have a crack at it. And definitely don't expect to be as good as those guys. It's definitely like a craft in, in, in its own. Um, but yeah, in our first lap in Q1, we set a uh, 141.988, just enough to get us to 11th, but we're way out of the danger zone. Nakajima, this is yellow, PK, our teammate, Bordeaux, and Sudo, all out of qualifying. And I mean, I'm consistently outperforming my teammates, so these little press releases. <laughs> a bit rough, man. Sell now, bro. So we get ready for Q2. And we put in a much better Q2 time. Still not as good as our practice time, I don't think. Uh, as you can see, I still go a bit wide in the T1. And it's just a problem with getting used to like braking in this game. It's just a little bit weird. And I don't really want to get in the habit of getting super good at F1 2009 because it will, just, it will ingrain bad habits for the future games. And, in between these videos, I just play a lot of other sim games just to make sure these uh, this game doesn't like give me any bad habits. I do plan on getting some eye racing going soon, so hopefully I can get some of that on the channel. Uh, we'll do at least one video of it because I do plan on finishing this whole series, even though it's going to be rough along the way. And we just overtook two cars there, very slow Braun, very slow Williams. And come around and set a time of 140.789, not as good as Jensen Button's time. But enough for us to qualify fourth in Q2 and get us into Q3 again for the third time this season. So, stuff you press, I'm doing alright on one lap. <laughs> But let's get into uh, Q3. Um, Jensen Button set the quickest time there. Mark Webber and Nico Rosberg, the top three for the Q2 session. Let's try and set the best time we can. I'm going to go a bit nuts this lap. All out. Super concentrated. Um, yeah, nothing else to really say when you're on one of these qualifying laps. You're just basically going through, trying to get the, your braking right, trying to, you know, accelerate out of the corners right. I am running a pretty low downforce setup, so we're not as quick on the straights. Um, and I don't know if that in China it's a bit because uh, you've got a lot of a lot of corners where you need downforce but you've also got that huge back straight which I think maybe in 2009 might be the longest in, in the calendar it's just huge this one here and um, yeah but we're gunning it we did a pretty good exit there on the hairpin as we head for the last corner and even in 2009 even though the graphics are a bit rough man like I still think China's a cool looking stadium China doesn't get the best rap as a track, but we set a 139.253 and qualified B1 in the Toro Russell. Stoke, man. Stoke. Two Aussies on top. Jensen Button in third. Rubens Barrichello fourth. Sebastian Vettel fifth. Yano Trulli in sixth. Felipe Massa at seventh. Nico Rosberg eighth. Lewis Hamilton ninth. And I just missed 10th. So we'll, we'll catch that in the grid up here. Sorry, 10th. 
Let's get ready for the race. Chinese Grand Prix. No, no rain on the way. Five laps as usual in this um, career mode. I will be doing more in, in the future games. But here's a grid where we just went through. Tenth was Kimi. Sorry, Kimi. Uh, Fernando Alonso, Kovalainen, Glock, Kibita, uh, <laughs> Kibitza, Heidfeld, Nakajima, Fisichella, PK, Bordeaux, and Adrian Soudal round out the grid. Five red lights, and let's get ready. Our first pole position ever in a Toro Rosso. We're going to try and cut off. Weber, and no way, man. That lead Red Bull is way ahead of us. We have just not had the best start, but this is a Toro Rosso. We we need to concentrate this race. We've been in super good positions in the last couple of races. We need to get points. Let's try and get this media that hates us off our back. We don't want to be Stroll. We want to be Ricardo, basically. Let's do our best, and look at those guys ahead of us, man. The the Braun and the Red Bull just flying off into the distance. We've got nothing on them, but I don't think our fight is with them. Lately, we've been beating Vettel, but we're, we've been nowhere near Weber. Um, but let's come around. We're doing the fir whole first lap of this Chinese Grand Prix. I'm trying to keep Jensen Button behind us. The uh, curb tried to eat us there. <laughs> That's right, we uh, overshoot this corner here as we come around for the big Expo 2010 sign. We've got cranking back in 2009. And let's get on this big straight. All the cars behind us are going to have all the uh, slipstream from us, so we're in a bit of trouble here, even with the curves. It's going to be very hard to try and keep these cars behind us, and uh, there we go. Jensen, but oh man, he just pulled right in front of us and we lost our Dan Force, could not break in time. Thankfully, no damage. Um, whew, hectic. Coming around to the end of uh, T1, we overshoot a little bit there, which is quite common even in uh, <laughs> the real races today. But we managed to get uh, the slipstream back on button, but he's defending well, coming into uh, the T1 and holding position pretty well. But we managed to try and overtake for a pretty risky move here around the outside. I don't know if it was the best position, but we're going to cut on the inside. Button is putting up a defensive um, class there, but he's just butt into us a bit. I don't know if I left him enough room, so I let him go. I don't want to get the penalty, just in case. I'll try to uh, Thankfully, no damage. But doing my best to try and have a clean race that was pretty rough the AI is not the best and the controls aren't the best in this game and Rubens Barrichello is out of this race so that's put us up into P3 we've managed to get the slipstream as well and past Jensen Button coming into the hairpin around until the last corner can we hold the place we can hold him off and as we come into the pits we just couldn't break in time we just nearly touch uh, Weber there and nearly wreck his race and nearly pulled a Hamilton and got stuck in the gravel but we didn't <laughs> we've pulled in the pits hopefully that doesn't cost us too much time we were in P2 there for a second so let's see where we can come out in the pit stop we still managed to have no damage we've had a, a rough couple of pit stops in the last couple of races seems to be a little bit of a problem in this game I'm not quite sure but I'm sure we'll get used to it in the next couple of races. Um, but let's see where we come out of this pit stop. At the moment, we are in P11, but we slip out, and most importantly, just behind Mark Webber and just in front of Lewis Hamilton. So it looks like we keep our position. Um, but Lewis Hamilton is going to be having a crack at us. He is closing in. And it's uh, pretty important for us to try and keep that inside line there and try and keep him off us. But it looks like he has a little bit of a problem with whoever's behind him. So we hold place for a little bit. He's broken away. And now we're under attack. <laughs> He's got the slipstream on us and it looks like Lewis Hamilton is going to bring it to us. He's not letting us get away. He's like, no way, Toro Rosso. Uh, but we're going to try and cut him off. We go onto the inside and we manage to beat him around the hairpin. Pretty stoked with that. And now really it's time to bridge a gap from Hamilton. 
go quite wide there on the last turn. Again, seems to be a little bit of a problem. I've got to try and get the braking down. A lot of people in the pits this lap. And in P2, Hamilton's had a crack at us. He has had the slipstream on the on the straight there. We managed to go keep it <laughs> very wide. A bit rough for me for sure, but uh, we managed to hold position for a few corners. Lewis Hamilton again on our tail. So this has been quite an intriguing fight with Lewis as I go wide again. So making a few mistakes under pressure, but Lewis not able to capitalize on it. Mark Webber's in another planet. I don't even know where he's going. <laughs> he's off. This is his race to lose. Um, but yeah, we managed to get a good, good exit out of this corner. Try and <laughs> important to try and gain a little bit of speed so we can limit that slipstream on this straight. Like I said, I am running a low downforce setup that does hinder us here. But I get the suspicion that Lewis's tyres are starting to wear just as mine are. I'm pushing a little bit more. I really want this place, and uh, you yeah, know, look at that, 2.749 seconds distance between me and Lewis Hamilton. Mark Webber's off nearly eight seconds in front of us, so we're not catching him, and that is not the objective, really. On the last lap here, I think it's most important to try and keep this together. I've had a last rough couple of last laps in the last couple of races, so I don't want to pull a Maldonado. We really just want to keep it together, and I think we should... Um, we've managed to build a pretty good distance between us and Hamilton and I think we're going to manage to keep it like that until the end of the race to be honest with you. The front tyres are wearing quite a bit which is pretty consistent on this track. That is pretty normal. There are a lot of those long corners, long tights and a lot of, you know, a couple of hairpins for us to get around. So it is pretty rough on the tyres. We go wide again but we manage to finish the race in P2. Stoked. Not even gonna lie, two Aussies on the podium, Mark Webber in the uh, parent Red Bull there, us in P2. Yano truly is the uh, surprise P3 there. Uh, Lewis Hamilton missing out, so that must have had an interesting bit there. Unfortunately, we can't watch the replays in 2009 for me to uh, commentate on it. But yeah, super happy with that race, I'm sure Toro Rosso will be super happy and I'm sure the computer AI's biased media will get off my back for the next race, so that will be super important. We take home 8 points, we're up to P6 in the uh, driver standings. And the team, Toro Rosso, also moves up into P5 guys, so that is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you enjoy it. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.